Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, hi, long time no post. Um, my last video was February 7th, 2022, so almost a year ago, which is crazy, but it was a much, much needed break for me. 2022 was by far the worst year of my life. Started out after I posted that video, I got a horrible sinus infection. And then a few weeks later, I got influenza really bad. And then like a week after that, my 18-year-old cat died, which crushed me. I was so sad. And then after that, my life, it went back up a little bit because we had two kittens, Lily and Lulu. And then two months after that, we actually rescued another cat named Abby. And then after that, I went back downhill again. I was in so much pain, ended up getting a CT scan. They found a golf ball sized mass on my uterus. Ended up having to have surgery, which I had almost three weeks ago now. And I was diagnosed with endometriosis. So now I know where all my pain was coming from. And so hopefully this year will just be better for me. I just, I can feel it's gonna be better. Like the vibes are just already so much better. As you can see by the title of today's video, I got a book haul. A huge book haul. My last book haul I posted on here was in the summer of 2021, so almost a year and a half ago, which is crazy. And since then, I've bought a ton of books. That was kind of like my form of coping when I didn't feel good. I was like, I'm gonna buy a book to make myself be happy, which, as my shirt says, drink coffee, read books, be happy. I don't know if you guys watched my last video that I posted on here, but at the beginning of it, I said my Barnes & Noble was closing, and so the whole store was 25% off. Well, a few weeks after that, it switched to 40% off. So I would say probably like a fourth, or even maybe more of these books came from that sale, because 40% off books is crazy. Like, that is such a good deal. So I'm gonna try to do this as quick as I can. If I read them, I'll tell you how I like them. But there's just so many that I don't want this to be like a four hour video for me to have to edit. I'm honestly a little bit scared to like take them off the pile because I don't want it to like fall down on me. I should probably watch what I'm doing. Okay, we're going to start with what I just pulled and then we will just keep going down the line. First book, To Love, Jason Thorne by Ella Mays. This was so good. I actually got this scent. I won this in a giveaway on Bookstagram from Angie, so... Thanks for that. Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. This was one of my top 22 reads of 2022. I think I put it in the number three spot. It was so good. Small town, so much drama, so good. And the next book in the series is coming out soon, so I'm excited to read that. And then I got Lila, which if you know, you know, this was a Wattpad, and they put it into book form. But you guys, the font is like so tiny, so I haven't reread it yet. I read it when it was on Wattpad, but because the font's so small and I already have issues <laughs> seeing, I just haven't picked this back up. Then we got Bad Boys Break Hearts by Michaela Smeltzer. I ordered the rest of the books in this series. They have not got here yet. Amazon Prime is just not it these days. It's like taking like two weeks to get my stuff. But I did order the rest of these this series. I have not read this yet, but it sounds like something I would be into. And the covers are stunning. Then I had to get Keen of Wrath by Anna Juan. I have not read this one yet either, but it's something I know I'm gonna love. Then we got The Honey Don't List by Christina Lauren. I love her books so much. I got this one 40% off from the Barnes & Noble sale. One of my goals for last year was to start reading more thrillers. Did I do it? No. Um, <laughs> I Hopefully this year I'll start reading more. I really like them. Um, so I got Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. My mom read this. She thought it was really good, so I'm excited to read this. And then I got Lilac by B.B. Reed. This is a reverse harem rock star romance. Have not read this one yet either, but the cover is so pretty. Then I got Second First Impressions by Sally Thorne. I know I talked about this in one of my older vlogs. I don't know if I ever put it in a book haul, though. If I did, sorry. Here it is again. Um, I loved The Hating Game, so I hope I love this too. Then we got a Christmas book, Just Like Magic by Sarah Hoggle. I have not read this. Um, I wanted to read it in December, but I didn't get around to it. Then I have The Kiss Quotient and The Bride Test. I did get the other one in the series. Um, they were all at Barnes & Noble for 40% off. Um, I, it's in this pile somewhere. We'll get to it. I haven't read these yet, though, because this first one's in third person. I think this one's in third person too. I know one of them's in first person, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know if I'm ever even going to read these because I hate third person. Okay, now I need to grab more books from this pile and I'm scared. I'm scared. It's okay. It's not going to fall. And if it does fall, it's on my bed. They'll be fine. 
Um, the first two here are Good Girl Complex and Bad Girl Reputation by Elle Kennedy. I've read Good Girl Complex. I love it. If you like After, you would really like this, but it's set in a beach town. Have not read this one yet. I just came out a few months ago, but I am so excited to read this because I loved this one. Then I got My Dark Vanessa. I've never read a book like this before, and I think everyone should go read this book. It's very emotional look up trigger warnings before you go into reading this but i feel like this is like a book that everyone should have to read and it's by kate elizabeth russell if you were wondering then i got five rounds by nikki castle i actually got this in fit teacher rachel's book box which she's coming out with another one with rena kent's books and i'm so excited i'm gonna get that one too um but this is about like uh is it an mma fighter yep so sounds like it would be good and then i got two abby Jimenez, is that thing? I think that's how you say it books. Oh my god, part of your world and life's too short. I have nothing but good things about these. Um, they are all my TBR for the year, so I'm excited to get to these. Next up, Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuinston. This is coming out in a movie soon, so I need to read this book. And I actually won it in a giveaway too, so that's fun. But I need, need to read it before the movie comes out. And I got Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey. I love Tessa Bailey, and this is a small town romance oh and the font is big i love when the font is big in books i'm pretty sure this is series two but this is the only one i have book lovers by emily henry i just finished beach read and i loved it and so i'm excited to read this one i think i'm saying i'm excited to read every one of these books which i am but like i need to switch up my vocab a little bit next up is the dead romantics by ashley poston i think it says in august for work we went to vegas i work at a boutique as you guys know if you've watched my videos before and so we went there for market and our flight was delayed five hours and i live in a tiny town in the airport there's tiny well i don't live in a tiny town but like a smaller town so it's not like a big airport it has like two terminals and so i was like i need to buy a book and this was the only book in there that was romance and looked good so i got it and it actually has really good reviews i wanted to read it for in october for halloween didn't get around to it though maybe this october then i got maybe in another life by taylor jenkins reed i love her books i have yet to read this one though it's on my tbr for the year so i gotta get to it the song of achilles i also got um cersei i think is how you say it I got these at Barnes & Noble, a part of the sale too. I, they're not really like my vibe of books if I'm being honest. I don't know if I'm going to ever read them, but I feel like they're good to have because they might be like a classic someday, you know. And people really love them, so I got them. Another book I wanted to read in October and didn't get to, The X Hex by Erin Sterling. And I know she came out with another one too, which I don't have that one, but it's in third person that's why i didn't read it i tried to read it and then i saw it was in third person so i put it back because i couldn't do it i don't know what it is with third person i could used to read third person all the time and now i just i can't do it the x talk by rachel lynn solman solman uh, i don't know um i'm the worst with pronouncing names i shouldn't even say the author's name just because i feel like half the time i don't get them right this one is a public radio co-host navigate mixed signals in the sparkling romantic comedy debut Sounds good. The cover was cute. Buy a Thread by Lucy Score. I did read this one. I actually buddy read it, which was so fun. It was my first buddy read I ever did, which was really fun. And I was reading it when I got my kittens, Lily and Lulu. So this book reminds me of a good time in my life. But it's huge and it's a slow burn, but it's so good. The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. This book broke me. I read this in like two hours. I couldn't put it down. Definitely check trigger warnings if you want to read this, but... This is another book that I feel like everyone should have to read because the message is just that good. Then I got Good Grief by Angel May. This cover is so cute. She actually sent this to me and then she sent it with a cute little bookmark too. Um, I have not read this yet. There's so many books I have not read. And I just, I always read on my Kindle and I, my goal for this year is to read my physical books instead of reading my Kindle books. So I better get to it. You know, I don't even know how to say the title of this book. So I'm just going to hold it up that is what it is it's the bargainer series book one i want to get into fantasy and my friend kayla told me this is a good book to start with so i got it i also bought the akator series and then i got the orange book i don't know the title of it because i haven't read it yet and it was bigger than all the rest of the books because i got the books in the box set and so i sold the box set and the tall orange book to one of my mom's friends and then i reordered the box set with the orange book in it so they were all the same 
like size you know haven't got it yet back to amazon prime sucking <laughs> i haven't got it yet yeah let me know should i read that first or should i go for this one i feel like i need to go buy the rest of the books in this series though because like i'm gonna want to read them right away you know and then i got lease on love by fallon ballard i actually haven't seen too much about this book but the cover was cute and it seemed like a fall type of book so i got it and then another christina lauren book roomies i feel like you just can't go wrong with their books like you gotta own them all okay i grabbed all the books that aren't a part of her series so all the ones behind me are all part of a series which is like so many um but there's a, there's a big pile in front of me here too which i shouldn't say they're all part of a series some of these might be a part of a series but i just have like one book from it if that makes sense starting out a touch of darkness by scarlet st Clair. have not read these yet it's a persephone retelling persephone's in hades i want to say haven't read it yet every summer after i loved this book if you like love in other words you would love this literally love it like go buy and read it right now and then i got a meet cute by helena hunting haven't read this yet again i got it at the Barnes and noble 40 percent off sale and then before we were strangers by renee carlino i have yet to read this too i heard it sad though so I'm gonna need to read it on a day where I'm feeling a little sad and can handle that. Paris is always a good idea by Jen McKaylin. I have not read this yet either. I got it at the Barnes and Noble sale. I can fix that by Juliana Smith. She sent this to me. This is her debut novel. Once again, I have not read it yet. You guys, I am so bad, and I'm pretty sure this is on Kindle Unlimited too, so I could read it on my Kindle. But it's Small Town, my favorite, so I have to read it soon. This one, I swear, I have two of. Yes. I have two of it so i think i'm gonna do a giveaway on my instagram for one of these i wanted the cover with like the pink in the bike and on target that was the cover of it and so i bought it and then it came to me with this cover so now i have two but it's forever interrupted i'm sure it's still a good book i just wanted the other cover <laughs> haven't read it yet so um yeah like i said i'll probably do a giveaway for one of these so follow me on my bookstagram it's just be reads and i got educated haven't read this one yet but it sounds like another one kind of like my dark vanessa the kind not the same like plot but like the same vibes does that make sense i don't know um so i need to be in the mood to read this and i just haven't been same with this one a little life i heard this one is it's like soul crushing so <laughs> haven't read this gotta wait for the right time to do so the golden couple um back to me and wanting to read more thrillers also i got this in canada and i don't know why but like look how huge it is like that's like a normal size book and it's like it's so tall it's really big another christina lauren josh and hazel's guide to not dating just yeah like i said you can't go wrong with their books gotta own them all the single dad by marnie mann i got this sent to me by valentine pr haven't read it yet but i've heard such good things about this whole entire series so i need to buy them all and read them or i think they're on kindle unlimited see that's my issue i'm like oh it's on kindle unlimited i don't need it and then i go and read a book and i love it so much and then i want to buy it and i just can't i need to put myself on a book buying ban that's what i need to do and i also got sent this one from valentine pr it's things i wanted to say by monica murphy um also in this series is a million kisses in your lifetime and then i want to say another one just came out a little bit ago too i've read a million kisses in your lifetime i loved it have not read this one yet it is thick though but the cover's so pretty and then of course reminders of him by colleen hoover this came out last january i want to say and it was actually my last video i posted was a reading vlog for this so if you want to see me read this go watch that video sick um f word <laughs> by tilly cole this is a alice in wonderland sort of retelling type of book so i'm excited to read this this book's also huge too like compared to a normal book it's really tall i'll have to put it by my other big book on, on my shelf okay and then i got the weather girl which this is by the same author as the x talk oh here it is the heart principle this one goes with the kiss quotient and the bride test which i talked about earlier yeah this one's in first person so i'll probably read this one not the other two the cheat sheet oh my gosh i just read this i finished it a few days ago it was so cute it was an nfl player and then his like childhood best friend which they never said they had feelings for each other and then they fake date and ah it was so cute definitely read this one i actually just got this one in the mail today pack up the moon this is on my tbr for 2023 so i had to buy it i heard this crushes you too 
I'm just have so many sad books and I don't feel like being sad this year so I don't know why I put the, all those sad books on my TBR. Um, the next up, The Silent Patient. I have not read this one yet but I've heard such good things. Good Luck Charm by Helena Hunting. Again, this was on the Barnes and Noble sale so I was like, gotta buy it. Twice in a Blue Moon by Christina Lauren. I don't even know what this is about. Oh, falling in love on vacation. Sounds good. <laughs> It starts with us by Colleen Hoover. I have yet to read this. Um, I started it. I'm actually on page. I'm on page two. I don't know. I started this and then I was like, it was so hyped up. I'm like, I don't know if I want to read it. And a lot of people that I like, I follow their book reviews and recommendations, and we have like the same taste, didn't like it. So I was kind of scared to read it. But maybe this year I will try to finish it. It's not even that long. Like I could probably read this and. A few hours so okay and next up we got funny you should ask by uh, Alyssa sussman i'm actually in the middle of reading this right now I'm on page nine <laughs> so i just started i'm not in the middle of it but the cover's so cute so i'm excited to read this and then this year i don't know why i went crazy with the christmas books so i got window shopping by tessa bailey and blame it on the mistletoe by beth garato i started reading this one and i didn't really like it so i quit i never finished it and then this one i haven't read yet but it's a ya one so i don't i think i'll like it because it'll be like a cute christmasy book but we'll save those for next christmas the wall of winnipeg and me by mariana zapata this was one of the first books i read in 2022 and it was so good it is thick but it's so good if you like sports romance especially football read this. My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. Have you not read this yet? I'm actually going to Hawaii in March and so I want to read a lot of like vacation-y beachy type of books so I'm saving this for then. This is another one I was gonna plan on reading to get me in the vacay mood. She's Faking It by Kristen Rockaway. Oh and then I got Bridgerton because I thought I really liked the TV series and I was like oh my gosh I have to read the book and I have not yet read the book. I don't know if I would really like this. I don't know if I would really like historical romances. I'm not sure. I should read it and then I'll know for sure. I got Normal People by Sally Rooney. I don't know if I'm ever going to read this. There's no quotations in this and I feel like that's just going to confuse me. And this year I want to read for fun and enjoyment, not to like make my brain smarter. So <laughs> don't know about that one. Um, The Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins. Um, she came out with a new one too. The cover is yellow with like I think pink flowers, which is really cute. I want to get it. Um, I've heard good things about this though, so another thriller I'm excited to read. And then I got The American Roommate Experiment by Elena Armas. I have yet to read The Spanish Love Deception. <laughs> I just, I feel like I don't read the pipe, hyped up popular books because I don't know if I'm gonna like them because they're so hyped. I get scared to read them. So if I eventually do read The Spanish Love Deception, I will pick up this one. Smart Girl Summer by Kristen Rockaway. She is the same one who did um, the one I just talked about. She's faking it. And so she actually sent me this as an arc. I have not read it yet though, which is so bad of me. But I feel like this is going to be a good one to get me in the summer mood coming up. So I'll read it then. From Luco with Love by Mariana Zapata. This is another one on my TBR for 2023. It is a figure skating romance, so can't wait for that and then i got this sanatorium by sarah paris i think that's how you say it this is another spooky thriller book and then i got dial a for aunties i joined a book club actually destiny sidwell's book club if you watch her on here and then i never read the book and now i haven't participated i feel like i cannot participate in a book club unless it was like i did my own book club so i could pick the book because i'm such a mood reader i can't count on other people to like tell me what to read you know does that like make sense like, I have to be in the mood to read it. I can't just read it to read it, you know? And then I got The Alice Six, which I have not read this yet either. It's Dark Academia. I don't know if I would like it. I'm guessing I would because I like dark romance. Um, I don't even know if this has a lot of romance in it, though. I want to say it's, like, between six different people's point of view. So, I don't know. But the cover is so pretty. I had to get it. Now we got to start going through my other piles. Wait, I think there actually might be some more behind here. Let me look. I found a few more back there. So this one I got sent to me by Valentine PR2. It's Fractured Freedom by Shane Rose. I have not read this yet, but it looks really good. This one was also sent to me by Valentine PR. It's Poison by Marty Mann. And then I got The Haunting of Ev Ashburn House, which this one looks creepy too. Actually, I got this out. I got a few of these at Walmart too. They have like $5 bins. Or was it like $8.99? I don't know. They were like cheap though, and they had good books in those bins. 
So if you have a Walmart near you, definitely go check there for some cheap books. Okay, and then before I get into all these series, I have a few hardcover books. I personally don't like hardcover books, so I tend not to buy them. But um, my mom likes hardcover books, so she'll buy them if they're like new, and then she'll give them to me if she thinks that I would like them. So the first one is The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. And then we got The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. Most of these are more thrillers, because that's what she likes to read. Um, and then I have The Guest List by Lucy Foley. I had to get this one, the special edition Verity with the bonus chapter, which I read the bonus chapter, and I think Jeremy is the crazy one out of all of them. Um, and then I got The Club, Everyone's Dying to Join by Ellery Lloyd. And then I got One Italian Summer by Rebecca Sarrell. See, my thing is, I buy, like, summer books, and I buy Christmas books, and I buy spooky books for Halloween, and do I ever read them when I should read them? No. So I need to start doing that to myself. Okay, guys, we're, like, halfway done. I feel like I need a break. I'm, I'm getting tired. I've been filming for, like, 40 minutes already. I think I'm gonna have to start on this side, because they're tilting this way, because if I take these books, then they're gonna, you know? So we're gonna start over here and make her way down. So this first series is the Vicious Lost Boy series by Nikki St. Crow. It is the Never King, the Dark One, and the Vicious Darling. And the fourth one's coming out soon. These are a Peter Pan retelling. They're really short. Um, I read these in October or November and they were really good. I feel like this is like a good stepping stone into fantasy too because they like go to a different world and there's like fairies and other type of things going on. And then I got the Ravenhood series by Kate Stewart. I have read the first two. I have not finished the finish line yet. Um, I actually really like them. I don't know why I have not finished this yet. I don't know if it's because I'm sad and I don't want it to end or if it's just like, I don't care. Like, I feel like I got closure in these. Like, I don't know if I need this book, but yeah, I'll finish it this year maybe and then oh my gosh i think these are the books i'm most excited to read in 2023 and that is the whole mangolia parks universe so the first one is just mangolia parks which i'm actually 40 pages into this one already and then the next one is daisy hates i think that's how you say it and then the long way home mangolia parks and then this one just came out and it's the great undoing daisy hates so it goes back and forth between V2, it's like Gossip Girl vibes. I know I'm gonna love it. So my boyfriend actually got all of these for me for Christmas last year, which this I think is the best gift I ever could have got. And the first two are Whatever It Takes and Wherever You Are by Krista and Becca Ritchie. This is Willow and Garrison's two books. I don't know if I can lift it, but he got me the whole like a series. The whole series, which I don't think he could have got me a better book series. I love them so i got damaged like us lovers like us alphas like us tangled like us sinful like us headstrong like us harming like us wild like us fearless like us infamous like us and misfits like us so we got me 14 books go him boyfriend of the year <laughs> i didn't realize once i moved the books you could see the stuff behind them so ignore my my messy nest behind them <laughs> so these first four i found at the used bookstore in my town and they were i think they were only yeah seven dollars so i got them all they're by willow winters i don't i think they're part of a series i don't know the series name but there's heartless merciless endless and breathless i want to say they're mafia romances and then i got the, the never after series by emily mcintyre so i got hooked scarred and wrecked and another one's coming out soon that i'm so excited for and then by tessa bailey i got it happened one summer and hook line and sinker which both of these are in third person so i'm probably never gonna read them which is sad maybe i'll do an audiobook for them i think i could handle third person in audiobook form and then these ones valentine pr sent me ignite by melanie harlow and this cover is so pretty so i had to go buy the rest of the series so i've got taste tease and attempt and these books are stunning like these covers gorgeous and i'm pretty sure these are small town romance too which is my fave so i'm gonna love them and then i got these at barnes and noble i honestly have never heard of this series before so i don't even know if it's good i don't even know what the series is called but it's wait for you by jennifer l armentrout and then stay with me and be with me I originally picked up this one because the cover was really cute and I liked it and then I was like oh this is a series so then I bought the other two books which there's more books in this series too but they don't have the new covers so I 
didn't buy those because I need my covers to match. <laughs> we got the entire Mile High series by Taylor Swan, which is one of my favorite series of all times. If you want to get started reading like spicy romance, read The Stopover. But each one's about a different brother and they are so good. So The Stopover, The Takeover, which is my favorite out of all of them. The Casanova and then The Do-Over, which I have yet to read because I don't want the series to be over because I love it that much. And then I have The Confidence of Wildflowers and The Resurrection of Wildflowers by Michaela Smeltzer, which people either love these books or they hate them. I loved them and the covers are so pretty so how to buy them these are also small town if you like that but definitely check trigger warnings before reading because at the like last 10 percent of this book something traumatic really happens so be prepared for that going into it Ooh, and i don't know why this thing doesn't focus on me it wants to focus on my background and then i got the fine print and terms and condition by lauren asher the next one's coming out soon so i'm gonna have to get that i have yet to read these though i need to you guys like i have so many books i need to read and i don't have enough time to read them and it makes me so sad and then i also got flawless and heartless by lc silver she just released the cover for the next book in this series yesterday and it's purple and it's so pretty and then these i also got at my local used bookstore they are by kennedy ryan so i know they're gonna be good it's the Kingmaker and the Rebel King. Don't know what these are even about, but they're Kennedy Ryan, so they have to be good. <laughs> okay, these next ones that I have here are all by Sierra Simone. It's Priest Center and State. And I actually rebought these in the new floral covers. They have not got here yet though, so I think I'm going to sell these ones. Um, the covers are just like so cringy. Like I could never read those. Like if my dad walked in on me like reading one of these, he'd be like, What are you doing? <laughs> so that's why I got the floral covers. I think this is the series I'm most excited to read this year. It's the Tattered and Torn series by Katherine Cowles. It is the most similar to Devney Perry, which half of these books on this side is all Devney Perry. She is my favorite author. She is the queen of small town romance with suspense. And these are small town romance with suspense. So I had to buy it. I do not know the order of this series, so don't come at me if I'm saying them in the wrong order. But it's Tattered Stars, Shattered Sea, Falling Embers, fractured sky and hidden waters and these covers are so pretty too again with the covers like if the covers are pretty i'm gonna buy them okay these two i got a while ago neon gods and electric idol again i'm pretty sure this is a persephone's and hades retelling haven't read them yet i feel like there's another one in this series that came out too so i'm gonna have to actually no i'm not gonna buy it until i read these i no can't do it and i feel like I always am like, I can't start a series unless I own all of them because what if I like it and then I don't want to wait in the mail for it to come or if my Barnes Noble doesn't have it. But no, I need to read what I have before I get more. And then I got the Dirty Air series. I got this a while ago, but I don't know if I ever mentioned it in a haul, so I'm sharing it now. But it's Throttled, Collided, Wrecked, and Redeemed, and these covers are so pretty too. I've only read Throttled so far. Um, I wanted to read these last year. They were on my TBR, but I never got to them. I heard these last two are really really emotional this next series i love this is the closest thing that i've had the same feelings to of reading the after series for the first time and it's the off balance series by lucia franco oh my gosh it was so so good like drama after drama but emotional and it was so good so i've got balance execution release twist and dismount and then my favorite duet I read this year, Hunting and Haunting Adeline. Ah, it was so good. Definitely check trigger warnings before you go into reading this. It's very dark. It's probably the darkest descriptive books I've ever read, but so good. And the covers are so pretty. Again, with covers, I read these on my Kindle and then I had to own them. So I bought them. And Sibby, if you read these, you know who Sibby is. She has her duet coming out this year, and I'm so excited for it. And then these next ones, if you know Colleen Hoover, changed all her OG covers to different covers. And I had the first books in these series, so I had to go and buy the other covers so they all match. So I got this girl, Point of Retreat, Maybe Now, and Maybe Not. So I got all those. These next ones are probably my most prized possession that I bought this year. Um, another cover change... The Addicted Calloway Sisters was indie published and now they're getting traditionally published and so they're changing all the covers and if you follow me on my bookstagram you know this whole 
journey I went on to get these books but I wanted the indie covers of the Callaway Sisters series and they were sold out everywhere and then I finally got them. Someone messaged me and told me that on Kristen Becker Ritchie's website they were going to have them so you can get them signed. You can get them signed. So I ordered them all. So I got Kiss the Sky, Hot House Flower, Fuel the Fire, and Long Way Down. And they're signed. So that's even better. And they were like the same price as Amazon. <laughs> so I love these. I don't know if I've said it on here, but I've named my cat Lily after Lily Calloway because that series is literally my favorite of all time and nothing will overtop it. I want to say I've talked about Twisted Love and Twisted Games on here before. Um, could be wrong though, but I've got the whole Twisted series. So Twisted Love, Twisted Games, Twisted Hate, and Twisted Lies. I have not read these two yet. Don't know if I would like this one. I kind of want to skip this one and just go straight to this one because I know I'm going to love this one, but it bothers me when I don't read a series in order. So we'll see what happens. And then the rest of the books that I have here in my pile are all Devonie Perry, which like I said, she is my like all-time favorite author. I'm so glad I found her this year. She is the queen of small town romances and they're all set in Montana, which is like two hours away from me. I live in North Dakota and so it's probably like the closest thing of any books being set where I live, which is awesome. So I think that's like why I love it so much. First books I have here is the Lark Cove series. Um, we have Tattered. Timid, Tragic, which is my favorite, Tinsel, and shit. And this one just came out like a few weeks ago, Timeless. What I love about these series too is they all take place in the same like universe. And so sometimes you get like a glimpse of other characters and it's so fun seeing them again. And then this next one is the Runaway series. This is the first series I read from her because they were the smallest. <laughs> And I was behind on my reading goal, so I was like, let's just read the tiny ones first. These ones are actually really good. It's about this girl, and she has lived in, like, this old car, and then she, each book, the car goes to a different person until they get to the final person that they want to have the car. So it's really fun seeing all that. But it is a Runaway Road, Wild Highway, Quarter Mile, Forsaken Trail, and Dotted Lines. My boyfriend's parents just got me these ones for my birthday, which I'm so excited about. This is the Clifton Forge series. These are more of like a motorcycle gain kind of series. So if you like that vibe, read these. I've only read the first two because I know I'm going to love it. And this is my last Devony Perry series I have read yet. So I am cherishing these last four books. But it starts out with Steel King. And then we go to Riveting Night, which is my favorite. And then Stone Princess. Noble King, Tin Queen, and Fallen Gesture. I just read these in December and they were so good, but it is The Bribe. This is like a little novella, it's called The Booty. Um, The Bluff, The Brazen, The Bully, and my favorite, The Brawl. Okay, I had to switch my battery, so I hope that this camera is set up as it was. If not, sorry, it moved a little bit. But the next one is the Jameson Valley series, which I love this series. I literally, I love all these series. Like, you can't go wrong with any of them. Um, this first one is the Coppersmith Farmhouse. And then we have the Clover Chapel, the Lucky Heart, the Outpost, the Bitter Root Inn, which is my favorite, and then the Candle Palace. It's short, but so good. I have not read these yet either. Um, the Birthday List and Letters to Molly. I'm saving these two because I heard these are kind of more emotional, but they're really good. Um... I have to read them this year. Have to do it. My last books I have to talk about today are the Eden series, which is my favorite series out of all of Devney's. They are so good. And a new one comes out later this month, which I'm so excited for. Ah, can't wait. Um, but it starts out with a little novella, Christmas in Quincy. You don't have to read this first, but I feel like it just sets the vibe of the whole town. So I would say, yes, go read it. And then it goes to Indigo Ridge, which this one, um, it has like a murder mystery in it too which makes it fun added in with the romance plot my favorite this is my top book of tw okay that was all just over um but this is my top book of 2022 juniper hill single mom moves in next door to a chef and he likes babies so <laughs> so good so good and then garnet flats which this one her uh, ex-boyfriend was an, is he an MMA fighter or CMA fighter? Some sort of fighter. Um, anyway, he uh, shows up to Montana and they rekindle their relationship. That's all the books. 210-ish, if I counted right. 
Oh my goodness, I am scared to edit this, but you know what? It's fine. I have the rest of today off. It's only 1.53. I also don't work tomorrow, so I got time to do it. I still have to put all these books back, though. That'll be kind of easy, though. I kind of know what I want to do. Um, and it'll be fun free range. And I need to dust, too, so it was much needed that they come off the shelves. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching today's video, my first video back. I plan to post every other week. Am I going to do it? I don't know. We'll see what happens. I work full-time and so it's tricky filming and editing when you have a full-time job. Sometimes it's just life gets in the way, but that's okay. I'm gonna try to make it work. Um, like I said earlier in this video at some point, <laughs> I do have a bookstagram. I'll put it on the screen right here. It's just B Reads. I'm much, much more active on there. But thank you guys again for watching. I'm excited to start filming more videos and get back to posting on YouTube. It was my five-year YouTube anniversary, December 1st, which is crazy. So yeah, subscribe if you aren't already. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you want other book-related videos, let me know down below. I have a few more planned, but if you want anything specific, let me know. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.